Hi, I'm Jackie. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about conditional or dynamic page breaks. If you're creating a document where you start a new page for each record, like certificates, you can end up with a blank page at the end of your output because of the page break at the end of your template. To avoid having a blank page at the end of your output, we can use a dynamic page break. You can find an example of conditional or dynamic page breaks in our sample application. Remember that you can install our sample application in your own workspace. This way you can look behind the scenes and see how all of our examples are done. If you can't install the sample application for some reason, you can always access it online at apexofficeprint.com. At the bottom of each example, you can find the source and template being used in the example. In this example, we're printing certificates for each customer. To help us create the dynamic page break, we've added row num as the customer index inside our query. The row num will be one for the first row, two for the second record, and three for the third, and so on. This customer index can be used in our template to help us determine when we've reached the last record. In your template, you can use a conditional expression to determine if the page break should be displayed. A conditional expression is like an if statement. If it evaluates to true, the contents of the template between the start and end tag of the conditional expression will be printed. If it evaluates to false, it will not be printed. In this example, our conditional expression is testing the customer index, which is our row num, against customers.length, which is the number of records in the customer's cursor or loop. Notice that between the opening and closing tags of our conditional expression, we have the page break. So if the current record is not the last record, the page break will be displayed. If the current record is the last record, the page break will not be printed and the loop will be closed. This gives you a clean document without the unnecessary blank page at the end. Remember, as with all tags used in AOP, the opening and closing tags of your conditional expression must match. By using a conditional page break, no matter the number of customers, we will always get one certificate per customer. For more information, be sure to check out our online documentation. And if you ever need any help, feel free to reach out to us at support at apexofficeprint.com.